have the Mid East heating up. Just yesterday, the Department of Defense announced that uh, the Central Command is going to have two more battleships in the area, and so we're gearing up for to maintain peace in the area. But having troops and um, assets in the right place should things per percolate. We saw NATO, you know, potentially launching missile strikes on Russia. All this stuff just kind of makes you a little queasy because tensions can flare and they can flare very quick. But right now, the financial markets are not necessarily reacting to some of those geopolitical news headlines. And I think the markets will be the first to react. So you have to watch the markets, uh, especially you know rates, currencies, and equity markets with the geopolitical strife. Now, what you have to be careful of is if you get geopolitical tensions uh, in the middle of a recession, which would affect the fundamental value of stocks, that's one where you need to be more pragmatic about making sure you maintain the diversification. In that case, you know, the Fed is still sitting above 5% on the risk-free rate, prevailing 10 years, you know, anywhere high threes to low fours. So having bond exposure is going to be beneficial in the next equity drawdown because the Fed is going to cut rates to maintain or react to, to some sort of existential crisis as they always do. And in that case, you're gonna get a buffer with bonds going up as rates going down. Typically equities go down in that scenario too. So I would just say maintain diversification. Don't be too leveraged long into equities because there's a lot of risks that are starting to percolate that you should be aware of and how they would affect your portfolio.